I was gaining weight. I was extremely bloated. I was just packing it on. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bean Tammy. What's up, Wagwan? So, as my last video, you saw where I talk about PCOS. I had my husband here explaining what PCOS is. Today, we're going to do part two where we talk about my journey with PCOS, my symptoms, you know, give it a lowdown. So, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Click the notification so you are notified every time I upload a video. My journey with PCOS unofficially started in 2016. That's during my last year of nursing school, you know, studying for SPAN, studying for R&R, &R, and r so, you know, I was having irregular periods. Come this month, skip the next month. I thought it was stress, you know, so I wasn't really paying it any mind. Told Wayne at the time, Wayne, you know, being fresh out of med school, he suggested mini gynon, which is uh, over the counter or a contraceptive. So I started taking that. That helped. Oh my God, it did help it. It was amazing. It, regular, it regularized my periods instantaneously. Anyways, problem solved. Irregular periods out of mind. Fast forward to 2018, which is supposed to be our wedding year. I remember preparing for our wedding and all of that stressed out with the whole migration thing. We weren't hearing from um med pro or the migration periods so i was stressed out so i started having irregular periods again but this time it was way worse i mean it will be coming for weeks on weeks very painful i remember one time throwing up non-stop in wayne and just bathroom and it got so bad to us said wayne there is something wrong there is something wrong we need to check this out wayne kept on saying Come on, just chill, you stress out. Anyways, fast forward to June 2018. You know, things still not looking up. Still painful periods. Um, long, going for two weeks at a time. Breakthrough bleeding. I decided enough was enough. So I said, Wayne, you're a doctor. Just write an ultrasound. Write up some blood, blood panel. Let us check this out ourselves. Yeah, I went to do the blood studies which is a, a group of hormone studies such as androgen. If you watch my previous video, Wayne had spoken about androgen. So I was, did that panel and then I went to do the ultrasound. The blood test came back normal. And as per previous video, you can see that the blood test can come back normal. The ultrasound, however, came back where I had cystic ovaries, which is some basically small cysts all over the ovaries. So, which, you know, confirmed my theory of polycystic ovaries. Anyways, when I found that out, I was devastated. Like, listen, anybody who knows me know that I love kids. And that was the first thing that came to my mind. Oh my God, I'm not going to be able to have children. Oh my God. I started freaking out and I'm like, oh yeah not going to be able to give Wayne any kids and that's all that was occupying my mind and remember we we're planning to get married I'm like oh my god he's going to marry to me and I'm going to struggle to have kids and you know we're talking back and forth with that but you know he stuck by me and he was like we're going to have kids no worry he's good so we're going to be fine yes guys after that ultrasound and the blood works I decided to seek um help from a gynecologist so I went to the gynecologist and we started treatment at the time, based on my research, the gold standard was Dian 35 metformin. So I was placed on those two drugs. And of course, with PCOS, you know that weight gain is a, is a major issue. But at the time, I was weighing 134, so I wasn't really concerned. I mean, I was putting on, putting on a little belly, but, you know, coming from a slim stick and having little thigh and bottom, I wasn't too concerned. So, you know, that was fine. Also... You know they always recommend that you start eating properly and exercise regular so yeah started that it was working perfectly then like a few weeks after starting the metformin i realized i was getting a lot of gi problems i started having bloat major bloating 
I was having issues going to the bathroom. I was having metallic taste in my mouth. And, you know, I told my doctor about that and I took myself off metformin. <laughs> and I just, just took in the Dian 35. Anyways, fast forward to 2019, everything started to go downhill. All is like out of nowhere, all of the symptoms of PCOS start boxing me. Every symptom except extreme acne and the hair on the chin and stuff, I didn't have those symptoms, but I was gaining weight. I was extremely bloated. I was just packing it on, pounds by pounds. Periods start come irregular again, very painful. It was unbearable. It got to a point where my bloating was so bad, guys. I was worried about going outside. I had people asking when and if I was pregnant. I had co-workers asking if I was pregnant. You know, persons kept assuming that I was pregnant and, you know, me thinking to myself, you know, with PCOS, being pregnant is, or infertility is a major issue. So, you know, I was worried about that. Guys, but you can get pregnant. We'll discuss that later on as my husband keeps hinting to me, yes. Right, so persons were telling me I was pregnant. I kept going to work stressed out over that because, I mean, there was not a minute or a day or a second where somebody don't come whispering me, are you pregnant? And it reached it reached to a point where persons were telling me, why are you hiding your pregnancy? Don't you know that it's something that is going to come and we're going to see it? And guys, that led me to go down in a series of serious serious depression and anxiety and we had to deal with all of that and what was strange for me is i was just looking at the physical symptoms of PCOS. i was not thinking about the psychological effects which i think is also not highlighted anxiety and depression in PCOS guys is real so i was extremely anxious extremely depressed I honestly don't un understand how Wayne got through that because everything was a bother. I was crying all the time. I didn't want to go out. Nothing looked good on me. I kept on wearing the same clothes and it was just a series of depression. Coupled with that, nothing was working to control my period. Kept on going to the doctor, going to the doctor until eventually the gynecologist suggested that I started taking Dian 35, two tablets per day. That was, I started taking Depo-Vera pill. I started getting Depo-Shot. I think I got Depo-Shot twice, like twice in the space of a month. Because all they were doing was trying to stop the bleeding because I was just bleeding uncontrollably. And it was painful. I was bleeding so much. Till at one point I went to work and ended up passing out, ended up in the emergency room. All of that embarrassment. So it was just a series of symptoms worsening so i was on then 35 times two per day provera tablets then they started dicing on it also reached a point where i also had to get um transamic acid anyways <coughs> anyways after all that i was exhausted i was just tired of taking a bunch of medication because sometimes honestly guys i'll just stop the medication like in midweek because i was just so overwhelmed so the doctor gave me two choices. Choice one was to have what is known as a DNC or I would have an insert, which I later chose was, which was the Marina. Right. So I started with the Marina, went to have it inserted. It was very uncomfortable because I haven't been pregnant before. And it's, it suggested that, you know, they give it to persons who you know at least have a child before but all of my avenues were exhausted i was not gonna do any surgical procedure i was not gonna do a dnc and at the time thankfully we was supportive and he agreed so we went and we got the marina which was very expensive i must add it was like twenty five thousand dollars so got that inserted anyways it was very uncomfortable so for a couple of weeks i was cramping and then i became concerned that it wasn't working because I was still bleeding. So on top of getting the marina, I had still had to be taking that so no one to control the bleeding. Anyways, I wasn't comfortable, so I decided to seek help from another gynecologist. So I went to him, 
he started out fresh he didn't use the same information so he did his own ultrasound and he did his own physical exam questioned me about what i was taking and then after the ultrasound he said to me you know who knows he might not even have picos so in the middle of our ultrasound i can remember very vividly i saw him counting the cysts because if you watch my previous video with my husband my husband said that there is criteria that you use to diagnose and ultrasound is one of them where you count the cysts and if you have 8 to 12 you're diagnosed with PCOS as one of the criteria so while my doctor was counting on one of my ovaries he realized that it was too much to count so he stopped and said yeah you have PCOS anyways when he did the ultrasound he also saw where the mariner was placed and he was like based on the position of the mariner it seems as if the mariner was inserted incorrectly so of course i had to have that revised after revising that you know things worked out for a little bit you know for a couple of months i was fine i was doing much better in terms of bleeding you know i was able to go back to a fairly regular schedule anyways so that was 2019 early 2020 after my migration process picked up i migrated in november as you can see my video go watch that video came to florida everything was going perfectly when i tell you you know i felt good no period i wasn't stressed you know all of that good mind you i was still gaining weight but at the time i think when i was in florida i think i was like 150s anyways i didn't pay it any mind because I was feeling good like I wasn't having problems with my period anyways fast forward to the first two weeks in Florida I realized that my period started to come and I was like oh yeah you're here you know welcome I know you won't be here for long you know just enjoy your time one week period still there two week period still there and it was getting heavier and heavier and heavier until my colleague said you're looking pale or they said what's wrong because then it started to get painful about three weeks of heavy period i felt like as if the i'm feeling something like almost like my marina is coming out and i started panicking and i started messaging wayne because being new in a new country i didn't have insurance yet i didn't know what where to go to a gynecologist so you know i texted the person i know with knowledge Wayne wasn't concerned. He was like, if it was falling out, then it would have fallen out. So, you know, go on, bounce it. Go on, bounce it. I feel like, I felt like something was coming out, coming out. I was like, no, man, this is not normal. Guys, as I said, no health insurance. Didn't know where to go to gynecologist. I started researching gynecologists in the area. And then I was like, oh, I can't afford it. I just moved to a new country. Anyways, I decided to message my gynecologist back home in Jamaica. And he was like, well based on what you're describing it seems like as if it is all the way out just reaching and grabbing it and guys i reached in i couldn't even reach in far i literally felt the marina come out in my hand i was like what the heck is this and guys yes then that was the beginning of trouble again Anyways, to go to the marina, you know you're married now, so you have to tell your husband, say, <laughs> there's no contraceptive. So I called Wayne and Wayne was like, oh my God, and we were talking. And then I was like, I'm a believer and I'm going to get pregnant. You know, even though you're diagnosed with PCOS, does not mean you will not get pregnant. So I was like, yes, Lord, this must be you talking, you know, this is definitely you working the mariner was working perfectly it followed no i guess this is your way of saying it's time to have your child tomorrow <laughs> and i was sharing this with Wayne, and we was just laughing and you know he wasn't taking it serious but i was dead serious so i was like maybe this is god talking you know maybe we should try work on having our our first child and i love that but my new way wasn't here as yet so he didn't have to worry about that Anyways, fast forward, Wayne came up, came up here and, you know, I started to press the issue, press the issue, press the issue. And I was like, Wayne, this come out, um, you know, I don't think I want to try anything else. I'm so exhausted. And with all of that, man, you know, guys, I forgot to add that after it fell out, like a couple days after it fell out, while I was bleeding, 
couple days after that period stopped and then i came up november december my period was regular january my period was regular february period regular april <laughs> period regular so i was like no man this is definitely god and then boom when and i had the last talk i was like when this is definitely the lord talking we need to have our child you know and we decided to proceed with our journey to trying to get pregnant but that we'll talk about later but yes guys it was a journey it was a long ass journey with PCOS. So if you are out there struggling with PCOS, you can comment down below, ask me any question. If you think our platform is not private enough, message me on Instagram. Let's talk, let's connect because it's something that is not talked about. And one of the things that I struggled with was the lack of concern with other females. Like persons, the persons that were coming to me talking about um, if I was pregnant or when I was going to have a child or I realized that us as women we have no sympathy or empathy to anything gynecologically that other females are going through and it is rough we need to stay together you know and it's very important if you have a supportive partner thank thanks Wayne big up palm steel you know big up himself because he was really understanding and he was more confident than I was in our journey of getting pregnant so Pick up yourself, palm steel, is it? So, yes, guys, as I said before, I have some exciting news to share. You know, some of you guys might figure it out because I know y'all smart and all of that. But guess what? I have a little baby in my belly. And I decided to share with you guys before I go into labor. So, yes, we have a little baby pee. So, follow me on Instagram to see my maternity pics. Catch you in the next video. That concludes my journey with PCOS, my long ass journey. Uh, thanks for watching. As I said, if you have any questions, comment down below. Let me know uh, if you were diagnosed with PCOS, let me know what you tried, what didn't work out, um, your journey, whether you became pregnant or not, you know, just to encourage you other women out there because I'm sure other women are struggling with that. Um, since my diagnosis, I met a ton of colleagues that you know had the same problem one of my subscribers commented on my last video and gave some really good tips so you can go in the comments she was talking about exercising and keeping your dairy intakes down I started exercising too I, I lost weight and I gained weight and I lost weight I gave up on the exercising journey but you know walk good stay good be good later guys <laughs>